Why do we need a new world order? Why can't nations all get together, sing from the same hymn sheet? I mean, we have world organizations which have done good, mainly for things like wildlife and, and um, poverty and famine. But the reason we'd need a world order is because nations are in competition with each other. You know, as we know, it's all about economics and growth. That's the uh, that's the race, if you like. But a world order wouldn't be about growth and economics. It would just be about sharing the resources equally. Right? Now, one of the problems with big nations today, you know, England, okay, 60 million people. There's nations with much more people than that, but that's still a lot of people. The, the, the person at the end, if you like, the small person working, feels completely insignificant. And um, when you think on a world scale, even more insignificant. And the people's advice, if you like, the famous people or <coughs> ultra successful people will always be never give up hope, which is fine. But even if everyone never gives up hope, they're never all going to be ultra successful. And um, we're driven to want success, even more so in the developing countries. They strive even more so for the, the things that indicate its success. Big, beautiful house, big, beautiful car, whatever it is. So, how would we address this problem? Well, I think we are due high time for an improvement upon democracy. You could say it's improving all the time. <clears throat> but it's certainly not the best thing that we could have. I have an idea which if you like would be my main pledge in a manifesto which is that we have a new style of governance and it would actually be the closest current government systems that we know the closest one that it would be to would be anarchy anarchy is actually most of the time um, thought of in the wrong way the real definition of anarchy is a society without governance and um, doesn't actually mean any violence or rioting it's just a society without governance and now I say it's close to anarchy so it's not exactly the same um, what it would involve is everyone would be part of a community now I'm talking small numbers and maybe this will be refined but my current belief is that uh, a normal human tribe size ideal for the people in that tribe if you like perhaps that's a bit of an old word would be between 60 and 120 people uh, less than 60 and there wouldn't be enough uh, in that 
group to sort of stimulate everyone enough and they would um, go apart and join other groups over 120 and you'd get split in the group too many people uh, the group would split have two two factions so 90 people plus or minus 30 now like I say this might be revised that's just something I've heard so it might be maybe it's 250 but we're talking small numbers So say with 90 people, average life expectancy perhaps 90 years old, you'd have one person for every age, every year. Which if you can imagine, growing up in a community like that, there'd always be a few kids, there'd always be a few people of all the ages. And that would be your community. You would grow up with those people. You would then serve that community. And that community would then look after you in your elder years. So, a new world order. Every citizen has a place in their community. who bring them up they then work for and then are then looked after and they are all these communities should have to be self-sustainable which would mean they would all be entitled to the appropriate amount of arable land if you say and that is capable of sustaining them. So these community land areas would have to differ according to the type of land they occupied. And of course you would get trade. Communities between each other would have to decide themselves what their bread was worth against their fish or whatever else they might provide and in this current world we have quite an easy simple way to communicate worldwide so it wouldn't be going back to cavemen we would quite easily be able to continue to run the internet it's quite low powered and capable of having some sort of device still able to be manufactured to interface it now maybe they'd only have one computer per community that's all perhaps we'd need then successes and failures of things these communities try can be shared 